spirits review. It's more of a late, in fact. I feel a bit on the odour, a bollocks to the side. 20 past 11, Saturday night. And uh, yeah, it's a late review. And uh, not overly drunk, but um, yeah, I'm on my way. But anyway, who gives a Who gives a monkeys? So tonight, reviewing Yellowtail Pinot Noir. As it says on the back, um, something, something, and velvety, with notes of cherries, red berries, and a hint of spice. Gotta say, Yellowtail, probably one of the best um, brands of wine in, in the world. They're not dear, you know, they're not, not expensive. Six or seven pound a bottle in the UK. God knows what it is worldwide, don't really care. I'm from the UK, yeah. But what I will say is, one of the best. Whether it's the white, the red, the rosé, or even the sparkling, they are quality, but at a price what's decent. And yes, I have bought this myself, so for those who don't, you know, who think I might get stuff for free, I'll get the odd bit for free, you know, now and again, I mean, very rarely. 99.9% .9 of everything I review, I actually pay for. Bless you, my son. But anyway, yeah, lovely dark red. Well, it's red, but it's, you know, it's not near enough black, isn't it? You know, depends your definition of red. I mean, my bloody skin colour looks red at the moment in this light. So yeah, did a live review earlier, cracking review, and uh, live chat rather. Um, lovely cherry plum aromas, massive aromas. You, can, you know, the glass is well away from my face, getting all those aromas, beautiful. Really kicking the arse aromas. Yeah, great chat earlier, up to, I think there was about 35 people at one time watching the beer chat. That's great, you know. And uh, I didn't get to say thanks because the effing phone died on me. Or the the funking phone. Uh, yeah. But, um, you know, as always, you know, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everybody that participates. You know, we're all very much a community. There's no leader or anything like that. People, I hate the word when you say, yeah, some YouTube people say, oh, my fans, fuck that. No one's a fan. To me, we're all part of the same community. We're all part of beer, fans of beer. If we're going to be a fan, we're a fan of beer. We are adults in the sweet shop. Though it's a rather large sweet shop because it's the internet and all these new beers arrive and we're all like, oh, I want that one. And we're all the same, aren't we? You know? That's the way I see it. Yeah. We're all together. Yeah, for me. Lockdown. The present situation around the world has brought fans of wines, spirits, lagers, real ales, beers, you know, scientists all together under, you know, under a, an umbrella, if you want to call it that, you know. As fans together, drinking beer, having a chat, making virtual friends, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, in life, the people you see in your daily jobs, you know, I mean, we all think people are friends to us, and, and sadly, a lot of them aren't, but you know, over the years, I've run websites for over 20 years, I've got virtual friends from over 20 years, people that I really don't know personally, but we've chatted uh, virtually and you get to know people. And you know, you may not know me personally, but the person you see is actually the real me because there ain't no, you know, there ain't no lying about the person you see in front of you. And. Uh, yeah, not with this fucking grey hair anyway, and receding airline. I mean, Jesus Christ, you can't lie about shit like that, can you? <laughs> but then the personality as well, obviously. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> oh, dear. Hey. 
And I have got a personality. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been through um, turmoil. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This year, been some been through some horrendous turmoil. Been through some happier times. Still suffer of anxiety. Can't shake it. You know, I just I really can't shake it. I, my legs are on fire. Even at this moment, I'm talking, and that's down to anxiety, and maybe down to drinking. God knows, but mostly anxiety. And you know, the 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 commu um, the community that's built around this channel of beer reviewers, fans of beer, not me, fans of beer. You know, it is awe inspiring. And yes, I've had a drink, but it's not bullshit that I'm coming out of. Just for those who think, God, he talks some shit, doesn't it? Uh, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, you know, I am very much thankful for every person that joins in. And uh, you know, as a fan of beer and a fan of alcohol, um, it's truly awe inspiring. But anyway, back to this fun. That's what we came for. Six minutes in, and have a sip. Yeah, Jesus Christ. So lovely red uh, wine, definite, um, like it said on the bowl, um, flavor, aromas of cherries, dark fruits, and I've got to say, Yellowtail, the number one wines in the world. I've drank a lot of wine, oh yeah, baby, and uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it, you know. It's nice having a drink. You know, it takes you away from the real world. But in real, so you know, <laughs> apart from being fucking obviously off tanked and all that, I'm not off tanked at the moment. I'm just oh merry, as it were. You know, oh bastard, near fell off. But yeah. Some Die Hard of a Vengeance to watch upstairs. Samuel Lee Jackson, if that's his name. Bruce Willis. Two awesome actors. And, uh, you know, if you're thinking about Black Lives Matter and Bruce Willis wearing a I Ate Niggas t shirt, yeah, it was a bit naughty in the days. But, you know, it shows you the world that was and the world that is today. And sometimes we must realise that the world needs to change. No use, no use erasing history. Looking at history, showing history to the young of today and saying to them, this is wrong. Then that's the correct way. Don't try and erase history. Don't try and smash all these, you know, history down. If history's there and it needs changing, then it needs changing for a reason. You know, it's not just about colour in history. There is, there is wrong across the board. Poor people were treated wrongly. Black and Asians were treated wrongly. Women were treated wrongly. Rich white people were probably the worst of all. Whether, I mean, certainly from an English point of view, whether that was the same in every single country around the world, God knows, because obviously you don't hear about their, their prejudices and that. But certainly from an English, from my poor, as I am, and poor English point of view, white person's point of view, the rich white person were, the rich white people, you only need to look at the, the you know, some of the um, shows that are around, and, uh, you know, if you was poor, black, Asian, white, poor white person, you were treated like shit, and, uh, you know, that's where the world needs to change. 
And let's be fair, you know, if you're being, if, if people are being brutally honest, there still is that around today. This rich versus poor thing. Totally wrong. Wealth should be shared. You've got 10, 20 billion all to yourself. You're never going to spend the fucker. Share it. Share it amongst the, you know, do the right thing for charities. Oh, pisses me off. And uh, I don't care. I don't care. Whoever watches this and says, wow, he's got an opinion. I bloody have. I come from that poor background. And, uh, you know, I've slept on the streets. I've, we struggled with hardly any money in the kitty. Struggled with turning the heating off to save money, even though we're freezing. So I don't care if my opinion upsets people in that respect anyway. But it's not always about colour, and that's where people of colour should always remember this. You know, just because you're a certain colour does not mean you've been, you know, the wrong one through the ages. People of colour, people of gender, there's a lot of people who've suffered shit over the years. And uh, we should all stand up and say, don't treat me like that. But anyway. Ah, cracking wine. And I do apologise for going on. You know, you've had a drink. I have a viewpoint. I'm a nice person. Don't get me wrong. But I do have a viewpoint. And when you see the world around you say, oh, this person's been suffered prejudice this person suffered bullying this person suffered that we all have ducky you know and that some of us have settled down and just realized it's a shit world we're in but fair play to them but uh, i will never stand up for somebody else above me that has suffered <clears throat> now i'm suffering because my throat's dry and i'm not getting the wine down hey. immense flavour like I say um, Yellowtail wines one of the best out there if not the best for the price an Australian wine and I do love Australia love to live there love to go there but uh, yeah the whole range is outstanding if you want to venture into wines Firstly, you check out the rosés, then you go to the whites. Once you've got past the old vinegar thing, because you will, uh, some people don't, some people just dive in and they're all right. Some people don't. I was one of the don'ts. White wine tastes like vinegar to me. Went to rosé, went to white, eventually went to red. And nowadays, it tastes as gorgeous as anything. For me, yellow tail Pinot Noir. 4.4 .4 out of 5. The old range is outstanding. Trust me, one of the best you can buy. you got friends or relatives who like a red wine. You want to go to the shop? You want to buy them something to drink? Get them this. Yellowtail. I'm not joking. Absolutely bob on the money. Six or seven quid a bottle. What's that? You can pay 15 quid for a bottle and it tastes no better. And it probably isn't either. Um, yeah, awesome. And that's it for this uh, wine review. We have a late wine review. And uh, I got on the old horse, uh, on the old bob at times. And uh, fucking hell, the air looks awful. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I might be different to other reviewers. I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch other reviews, so I don't really know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, honesty in this world we're in. Honesty, be the person you are, and uh, you know all that matters. You know, I'd if someone doesn't like me, I'd rather them tell me and say, oh, "I don't like you, twat." Yeah, well, that's fair enough. Yeah, fuck you and all, and uh, carry on. <laughs> But rather than people turn around, you know, rather than someone be nice to you and you think to yourself, I know they don't like me. 
and uh, yeah, it's that sort of world we're living in. So yeah. Anyway, um, I need to go and watch my film, have a little drink, and uh, go sleep. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good night. Had a great chat tonight. Mm, loads of people, and then the phone died. Bastard. And then they carried on talking after I'd gone. That was wacky. I went on. And the reviews there, I mean, they were all talking away. And I've, I, obviously I wasn't there because the phone had died. And it was amazing, you know. And uh, it warms my heart, it does. And I thank you for all the um, the support. Yeah. And uh, obviously, it cost a bit to buy all these beers, but oh God, it's so worth it. And as a fan of beer, I absolutely love reviewing beers. Whether I'm right or wrong, God knows. You know, I ain't got a clue. But uh, what I do know is, interaction is the way forward. Social interaction in a year of COVID, the worst year in a generation, or a few generations. Um, you know it's like a war that you can't see and for all them idiots that say oh there's nothing going on for fuck's sakes do the countries of the world bankrupt themselves because it's because it's fake grow up um, oh yeah but uh, yeah I tell you what it pisses me off I don't know whether I'm susceptible to, to Covid or not but I'm not fucking daft enough to say it's fake. If my wife was to get it, it'd become brutal ill, or my daughter, or my son, or my two sons, you know, there's something there where you think to yourself, could you imagine, you know, you say, oh, it's fake, then a member of your family becomes seriously ill and dies. What a f idiot you have been. I would never do that. You know, I worry. Even though I don't know whether any of us are susceptible, I could be immune. And it's that thing. And to think that I could bring something home that could kill a member of my family. You know, that absolutely, brutally um, destroys me. You know, and even though I've come so much further and some of the tri trials and tribulations of the last year, the threat of COVID is a serious and undeniable threat. And uh, I'm not daft enough to think to myself, I'm invincible. You know, personally, I hope I am. And I hope that I'm invincible and my bloodline, all my bloodline, all the same, they're all invincible from it. But, you know, you've got to realise that, uh, you know, you may not be. And that's the thing. Right. Wow. That was powerful, wasn't it? Jesus Christ. You know, when it comes to it, sometimes I can come out with some real shit. But yeah. I'd make a very interesting Prime Minister. <laughs> uh, I'd sit down and I'd be so brutally, brutally honest that uh, it would shake the foundations of a lot of people. But hey, -oh, sometimes you need somebody who's actually a realist to turn around to you and say, yeah, 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 yeah. What you think, you don't know. And uh, all that sort of thing. Right, anyway. It's 12 o'clock. I need to go upstairs, watch my film. I've been here 20 minutes talking. Wow. At this time of night. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.